Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing where I stamp to cheer the brokenhearted and connect all of my friends to Jesus. I have some ideas for you today with some strips of paper. Many times we cut our pretty papers and we end up with all those little tiny strips and we don't really know how to use them. Well, I have two ideas for you today and I plan to bring more, so stay tuned for that here on Facebook and also in my YouTube channel, Stamp a Blessing. I'm excited to create with you. At the end, I have a word of encouragement for this awesome week. It is a Monday and it's a little crazy cuckoo, but it is so fun to create with you. So let's turn my camera around and go stamp, okay? Yay! Thank you so much for being here okay so i'm going to start with the first card and this is um this this are two different ideas okay today i'm going to give you one for pretty papers like this and a way that you can cut them so that you can still enjoy the beauty of them like not necessarily cut them in half or anything like that and these are cards that i've seen here and they're like i've been encouraged by many panels type of cards or strip type of cards this is more like a panel so i'll show you how to do that and then i want to show you another one with a lot of strips of papers that i have that i think you're going to enjoy so i'm very happy about that for this card, I chose one of my paper shares. Is it a wash in beauty 12 by 12 the standard to this paper? I love putting them in the cellophane bags, the page number in the catalog and also all the colors included in this set so that you can kind of put things together and one of the papers that came with this particular one was this one. So we will be using that. I have some instructions in here, but you will need a card base that is eight and a half by five and a half. Okay, I cut that eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored and folded at four and one quarter the first layer in this case i'm using mary merlot and it is um four by five and a quarter it will go right on top okay and then we will have the dsp which is right here now usually when i do a paper share i cut them at four inches by six because I divided 12 by 12 piece of the sanitary paper into six people I divide them into six people that share that share with me and they end up with a four by six piece this time I took that piece and I cut it at three and three quarters okay um what width is what I would say width is three and three quarters and then we're going to start cutting this at three fourths okay so we're gonna cut three fourths and we're gonna cut six of those in just a minute after that we will label and we will be embellishing and I'll show you what else I will bring this I will position my paper right here and I will start measuring three fourths so one two three I will get it here because I want all this part in here that has the flowers I really don't care about putting this on my paper I want all of this and I want six strips of three fourths okay so one two three I cut right there and then I go one two and three and I cut right there and then I go one and I'm measuring the fourth two two fourths and then three fourths and I cut again and then I go one two three i cut again i'm going to bring this panel right here and i'm going to bring my glue as well and this shouldn't be difficult at all um i think the only problem would be if if i messed them up <laughs> if i did this wrong you see so hey i did it right i did it good thank you for all the love my dear it's so fun to see it so i'm gonna start putting all this and this card was actually inspired by one of my friends uh, patricia made some it made something different i didn't ask her her measurements and um but i love what she did with it how many I have one two three four five ah okay then let me see if i'm putting them correctly i'm just leaving a little bit of space you see that and I think this is one of the best ways to use this particular paper. It is so beautiful. It is in the big catalog. And I made some of my paper shares with them. And I love it. Because you really don't want to hide the beauty of the paper. So this is really, really good. Okay. And I'll just start putting this together real fast in here. Let's just do this. Okay. It shouldn't take too long. How is everybody doing while I do this? You can tell me a bit. How are you all doing? Have you been creating? Oh, I almost put that the other way. You see, I twisted the other way around. But this is so pretty. Love this paper. So in any case, this is the thing that takes the most time. <laughs> Just to put all these together. But it is so nice how it turns out to be. I wanted to show you and this is for those pretty papers that you have that you just do not want to really cut them okay you don't want to cut them because they're so pretty 
but if you are to cut them which you should because they're that's the that's the reason why you bought them right to you to use them then you're going to grab your things and you're going to put a little bit of glue in there and do the best you can and i think i kind of messed it up a bit i'm not sure it's totally straight but i'm doing my best okay it doesn't have to be perfect and mondays things go a little cuckoo and today's been one of those days that I start the week and things don't necessarily go exactly the way I anticipated. I always think that everything is going to go perfect on a Monday. And then Mondays come and things go really weird. <laughs> and I'm always like rushing through the day. But hey, I started the day good. I started the day with my with my kiddos okay so this is how the card ends up looking you see how cool that is isn't that beautiful it is so good to just see it's like a, it kind of looks like a window you know like you're looking through but i really like putting the mary Merlot in the back because it really shows the the paper really really nice so you could add a lot more to this if you wish like a ribbon i love ribbons but for um time's sake i'm going to make this really quick because i want to show you a second card today and keep going with our Monday. It is a wonderful Monday. Monday mercies. Hallelujah. That's the hashtag I've been using lately because I need the mercy of the Lord on Mondays <laughs> to be doing these videos and so much more. So I want to look for some of my new dyes and the Splendid Stems is one of the ones that I really, really like lately. And it comes with a dye that I have no idea where I put it that you can create this little half shaped um half ovals what did i put it it's not here i must have left it on my table somewhere on the other side but i don't see it here anyway i cut several and i call them balmy blue because that's one of the colors that comes with the wash with beauty is the balmy blue so i got that there and i plan to put this around let's see i can put it on this side if i wish I really like it. I don't want to cover the flowers. So that is why I sort of decide where I want to put it after I after I do this. And then what I did is that I took another piece of paper. Look, I'm going to show you. And I cut a little piece. And this is kind of like the um, leftovers from another paper. I'm going to show you another card I made. And I'm going to put it right here because I want to use this to add a little something to it. Okay. So in order to do that, I'm going to bring some of my dimensionals. Okay, this is where my sentiment is going to go, but I'm going to take my dimensional right here, put dimensionals on this beautiful piece. And again, I don't want to throw away any, any paper, any of this pretty paper that we got. Okay, for all those that participated in my pretty paper shares, thank you so much. It is fun to do this together. It is really good to use our paper in different ways. I love how we can share that. So I'm going to put this right here. Yep. I'll put that right there. And then I go ahead and stamped. And in this case, I used my Splendid Thoughts. And I used this Let's Celebrate. And I already stamped it because I'm on it today with Mary Merlot. Okay. And I want to be able to show you other cards. So I'm going to bring this here. And I'm going to put just a little bit of dimensionals. I love this dimensionals. I love when things come cut for me. <laughs> it's just like... I am I, I should be I should be like the simpler stamper in the entire world. I like stamping. I enjoy stamping, but I love easy stamping. I am um, very particular. It may be the season of my life that I'm in, but I really like that. And then I'm gonna bring some I think these are retired, the noble peacock rhinestones. You know, if you have some retired rhinestones, hello, use them. And um let's see. I may use some of this blue. No, that blue doesn't go. It doesn't go. Okay, the green. The green one goes really cute. So I'm going to put a green one right there. I'm going to put a green one right here. And maybe I'll put another green one, I don't know, over there. Does that look cute? Okay, so that is one completed card with some little embellishments and some panels. Super simple. And I think this particular awash with In Beauty, it is beautiful for it. So I'm very excited. I'm so excited. I saw a similar card that Patricia made and I'm like, oh, that looks so cute. I love how she used the panels, put them like that. So I created these two cards today and I hope to inspire you to go get your shares out, get the pretty papers that you've been hoarding for months and, and maybe years. <laughs> And you use them because that's the reason why you should be doing it. Okay, so take a pic of this and you know what to do next. Next, Now, I'm going to show you another card and I think you're going to like it as well. Here it is. I've been using some of my old oldies shares. I've been doing shares for a while. These are the Lily Impressions and the Perennial Essence. Well, what I discovered is that I ended up, look, I have a full page. Wow, that's like a miracle. 
<laughs> Same thing. I think this is a Lily Impressions, okay? But look at this. I ended up with a lot of little strips, so I honestly have no idea what project I was doing that I ended up with so many little strips. Okay, these are not strips of paper. These are strips of tear and tape. Okay, but I'm not kidding. Like, look at all the strips that I ended up with. Like, I have too many. So when I started seeing all of that, I thought, you know what? I need to start making some new things with just strips. So I started looking around and trying to figure out what I could do. And for this particular card, I'm going to use the tear and tape. And something very particular is that I'm going to use um, a card base like the one before, same measurements, and I'm going to use some vellum. So if you have some vellum around, you could use a vellum or you can use window sheets for this. Okay, any window sheets work. You can even use foil if you wish. This type of window sheets would work, I'm sorry, this type of vellum would work as well, something like this. This particular pack that is in the main catalog from Stamping Up comes with many that are white, that are just the vellum, lovely layers. I think it comes with 20 that have design and like maybe 40 that are just, you know, clear like this. So I want you to find a piece like this and then I want you to also find a circle die in this case you could use most likely a die is the best i found that this size is very very nice this is one of my oldie circles i have not gotten one of the new ones because i have the oldies okay so if you have any circles collection framelits any circle die should work i heard that having the the stitch one may not work as well so i decided to try it with this one but this if you are wondering is a three and a half circle the one that i'm using today so three and a half or about three and a half inches okay so i'm going to be using this to cut it but to start i'm going to start putting some things together here so i could use something like this and i want you to be able to see this very well so give me a second let me grab maybe no that's not going to work either so let me grab this yeah i think this works best because you can see the vellum and you can see the paper Okay, so I'm going to start grabbing some of the papers and kind of just deciding to put them together in a very, uh, not necessarily in order type of way. Okay, you don't have to have it perfectly done. And if your papers are too big, it's okay. You can use them if you wish as well. They don't, the, the idea is to make your life easier. It's not to make your life harder. <laughs> the idea is not that you go and cut a bunch of papers with this particular one, but that you just kind of go with the flow okay okay i think i like let's see i do like this at the top but i would love to have something lighter at the bottom okay so if i put that one there that would work really really pretty now i look at them and i'm gonna put them also leaving some um spaces and i believe this is a technique called like the floating technique where this is going to look like it's floating on your card many people do it with window sheets i'm gonna be doing it with um with vellum because i can <laughs> because i can that's the real reason why so you can do it this way i'll put this one in here just in case so what you do is that you take your your tear and tape okay you sort of measure in there a little bit and you start gluing things where you want them to go. I'm going to put this first one right here because I want to use my tearing tape very, very good. But it, I should maybe start with the paper first, okay? So I'll take that and I'll put this one, uh-oh, I'll put this one right here sort of like to start my, my strips, okay? Then you keep going and you put a little more, okay? And I'm going to put this one right here. And I'm really in love with this because I am excited to use all of these strips, okay? <laughs> it's so fun. It's so fun, my dears, okay? You have all these strips waiting for you and you don't use them because you don't even know how. So I'm going to take all my strips right here. I'm going to put them on the side because I want to clean up my area a little bit and show you what I'm doing. <laughs> so in order for you not to have so much time looking at me putting tape, I went ahead and I started another one. So this is the one that I started. Okay. And all of these ones are already um, glued with the same glue. You see it on the back. Again, you can do this with window sheets or you can do it with uh, vellum or you can do it with whatever you want. And in this case, we're going to pass this through the um the cutting machine sure. so when i bring you stuff it's because i'm excited to try it because i've never done it before so here i go so i'm gonna cut my circle right there 
okay and again each card is going to look different because you have different um different strips of paper correct so i'm going to pass this through here i'm going to move this out and i'm going to bring just that out here move my machine and let's see how this ended up looking okay so here's my circle Ooh, look at that <laughs> it is so much fun I love it. I love doing this with you ladies. Look how beautiful that looks out of just strips. Okay. You just had strips and that came out. So that is gorgeous. Now I want to do something a little different. I was going to do it on white, but I think I'm going to do this one on, um, on crumb cake because it is so pretty. So I'm going to try this on crumb cake. And what I'm going to do now, it's a little bit different. Don't, don't, don't fret. It's okay. Have peace. I'm going to show you something else that I learned. I learned that you could use these nice ones, the foam adhesive strips. Yes, they are in the catalog and I have not used them in like ages. So I'm going to show you where they are. They are right here in page 127 and it's the number four right there. It says foam adhesive strips. So those are wonderful for when you're doing cards like this or when you're doing shaker cards as well. And I don't know why I marked this page, but I marked it for something. Oh, I know it's because I'm going to be using the painted label. <laughs> So now I have this. Let me start here first, okay? So I have my little strips of foam. You can use any foam you have. Don't don't fret. Don't feel like, oh dear, I don't have that. So now I cannot make this card. No, that's not the point. You can still make it, okay? Don't feel like you can't. Now I'm going to cut some little strips here. And now I'm going to put my strips where I put the paper. That is the idea, right? That you have a good area here of adhesive but it's not where you are actually um it's not in the vellum did i do that right yeah i did it right <laughs> i'm putting it exactly where it goes okay so i'm gonna get a little bit more i love this foam strips i love foam strips i love all foam in my card so i'm gonna put this one right here I don't think I'm going to put any down there, but hey, I can put a little bit more at the top just in case. This is going to end up looking so cool, and I have another sample to show you, so don't go anywhere. Such an easy card to make, and um, I love using what I have, and I'm always encouraging everybody in Stamp It Blessing, please, please, please use what you have, and especially if I, I already took that out. If you already purchased something from me, and you have not used it in ages, please go get it out, make something good, and then post it in my group and say, use what you have. That's a hashtag. Use what you have. You need to use what you have. So there you have it. Oh my, look how cute that would look. Oh, what if I put it this way instead of this way? Okay, I like it that way, but I think I like it this way even better. So ladies, this one won. I'm going this way okay so i'm gonna put it looking that way look how cute that looks isn't that cute that is awesome and i forgot that i'm supposed to always stamp before i, <laughs> I do that <laughs> so um don't get me wrong i love it um i may make a boo-boo or not let's try it i'm gonna bring a retired one this is the pretty peacock but i don't mind that it's retired because many of you most likely have it i'm gonna have the you are in my prayers and this is from one of my new stamp sets which i have no idea what i put in this precise moment oh it's right here can you tell that i have a little bit of a mess on my table it's a hope and prayer i love this one you are in my prayer so many people i'm praying for so i'm gonna use this one okay and i'm gonna put it right here and then you pray that it actually comes out nice because i'm live okay and if i make a mistake you will all see it thank you jesus you have mercy on me now after you do this you can leave it just like that that card is just it's just gorgeous, just like that. But you can also add a little bit more. So since we're here and it's our time to play, I went ahead and I cut some little stems from my Splendid, what is the name of them? Splendid Stems Dyes, okay? And I have some of my flowers from the one that I just showed you in the catalog and I forgot its name already. The painted labels that's it so i thought that i could maybe put one of these flowers right here and kind of put it together wouldn't it look so pretty this is so pretty uh it, it really i knew the colors were gonna go perfect so i'm gonna put just a little bit of glue in the center i'm not gonna worry too much about the corners okay but how many of you have the painted labels and have not even looked at it in ages anybody raise your hand <laughs> 
by anybody. Come on, be honest. You have it in there. It is current and you have not looked at it. And uh, I think this flower just goes beautifully with it. So I'm going to be putting it in here. And then this, oh, I don't know if I want to put it together, but it looks so cute and I totally have to. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put the black, uh, what is the name? Uh, Blackberry Bliss, that's it. I'm going to put the Blackberry Bliss in there and I'm going to put this two here. Let's see, I am guilty. <laughs> Judy said, I am guilty. Yes, you have them. You have them and you haven't used them. It's okay. I believe you. Uh oh, it disconnected. Let me hold it there for a teeny bit more right there. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I love it. That looks so, you know what? I love that paper. When you find little strips of paper, please do not throw them away. Could you get a little piece of vellum and then create this, please? And then show it to me. Because that's the joy of it, right? To share with others as well. Don't keep it all to yourself. So I think I'm going to put this flower right there. And it's going to look very, very stunning. Okay, so let me put a little bit of glue. I'm going to do this because this is kind of... It's kind of moving on me. And I don't want it to move. So I love this idea. And you know what? Sometimes I need to stop everything I'm doing and just create something a little different. Like today. So I'm going to put all that glue there because I want that to stay there. But then I want my flower to go right here in this area. And I, I don't want to be off. So it's going to be right there. Look how nice that looks. <laughs> that looks so pretty. <laughs> don't you think it looks so pretty? Look, lots of dimensional. Now, now dimensionals um, are just uh, my best friends. So you have there those cards that you can make with those panels. Remember, three and a quarter. I gave you all the di all the um, all the measurements right here. And this one, I use a particular circle that I have no idea where to put right now, which is a three and a half die. You can use any. You could use a smaller one. You could also use um, a, uh, a rectangle or you can use anything else. So if you do, let me show you one more sample because this is so cool. Look at this sample. Very similar, same bag of strips, ladies, okay? Same bag of strips that I was using, and I found this one. Now, this one, I was going to do it this way, and then I thought, well, those flowers look better, you know, kind of like floating, hello. And this is that floating technique, so it works perfectly. And it's so nice to do with your strips of paper that you have not used in forever and ever. Then you can either use a punch, or you can use some dye and just add your little bit in there. I totally hope that this inspires you to use use what you have because we have so much we've been blessed in so many ways and sometimes we forget that we have all this beauty around us so i'm gonna turn my camera around i want to share with you the word of the lord that's been on my heart today and i hope it blesses you for this entire week okay okay let me read to you this song and then i'm gonna read from my journal from this morning my prayer to jesus because just as he was blessing me this may bless you and that is my prayer today for you and I'm reading from Psalm 61, verse 6. Actually, I'll start on verse 5. It says, Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He's my mighty rock my refuge and when i read that today i was like you know what i want to be like the psalmist i want jesus to be my all in all i want god to be my everything and i started writing a prayer on my little journal that i have in here and uh, this morning and uh, I particularly for those moments when you feel like you are losing and when you feel like you cannot win, like everything keeps going around you and everything seems like everyone else is doing good and you're not. <laughs> but I need to remind you this, God sees you. And this was my prayer today. Um, let me find the right prayer so I can read to you the right prayer. I wrote, Jesus, I surrender my desire to win. And if you know me, I'm very competitive. If you know me, oh my dear, I'm surrendering all to him. I surrender my desire to win. I surrender my desire to be recognized, to look good, to even be or look successful. I surrender all. I set my eyes on you. Let Jesus 
be my goal. Let Jesus be my ministry. Let Jesus be my satisfaction. Let Jesus alone be my desire. Let Jesus be my goal, my accomplishment, and my reward. I die daily. I choose to die today and ask nothing. I choose. And then I said, you already gave it all. Let you be the dream I follow. Let your Jesus, let you, Jesus, be my only desire, my only goal to see you. To be content with Jesus only. What a life. Jesus, fill me with the faith I need today to desire only you. To be full of you, not of myself, not of my goals and my agendas, not of promotions or rewards. You, Jesus, are my reward. Let your applause be the applause I seek. Let your applause, your applause, be the applause I seek. So I'm not sure what goal you have. I'm not sure what reward you're waiting for or what promotion, but I can assure you that when you make Jesus your goal, your accomplishment, your trophy, you will lack nothing because he will fill your life to the uttermost and you will lack no joy, you will lack no energy, you will lack no health, you will lack nothing. And even in seasons of loss, I want to remind you that Jesus is your all in all. I bless you today with rest. I bless you with the peace and I bless you with the faith to surrender everything to our God, most holy God almighty. I love you ladies and I hope to encourage you to connect with him. In him, there's life and peace. Out of him, there's nothing. I'll see you next Monday with more ideas. I'll see you in YouTube as well. And please share with me if you make some of these cards. I love seeing what you create. God bless you. Ciao, ciao.